In a previous segment, we talked about uh, being under the influence mm -hmm. of drugs. And I had asked you, did you have a horror high story, a bad experience while you were high? One of your um, stories was about Xanax. Yeah. And you got into an auto accident yeah. while you were on Xanax. Um, recently, rapper Little Peep, mm -hmm. he died at the age of 21. And Xanax and a combination of fentanyl was uh, part of some toxic effects that led to his death. Right. Did you hear about that? Yeah, I heard about that. Was that surprising to you that Xanax was a part or contributed to his death? Yeah, it was crazy when I heard they uh, started putting fentanyl and shit in the Xanax bar. That, that shit, that's crazy to me. Now, taking Little Peep out of the equation, what do you think the appeal of Xanax is? I don't think, I think after you had said that that was a, your horror high story about the auto accident, I, correct me if I'm wrong, I think you stopped taking Xanax after that. Yeah, I, I stopped taking Xanax. I, I haven't took Xanax in a year. What do you think people's appeal to Xanax is? What they like about them? Yeah. Uh, they really make you, they make you feel wavy, like, uh, when you take a Xanax, it just give you like a hella, it just give you hella confidence. Make you feel like you can do anything, say anything. You know what I'm saying? You can talk to a female, just, you don't feel like she gonna turn you down, you gonna be talking something crazy. And you just fall asleep instantly if you're used to them, so people probably like to sleep. I've heard people say that you can forget stuff you've definitely. done you definitely while you were on it. Yeah, definitely. I can't remember who told me this, but somebody even said, you could literally commit murder while you're on Xanax and forget that you really committed murder. Yeah, you can. You definitely can do that. You think that was an exaggeration or that's literal? No, I heard about people doing crimes on Xanax and uh, waking up in prison and, and jail and not knowing what the hell was, what they was in jail for. That can be scary. Yeah, I don't take them bitches. I haven't took Xanax in years. I don't. That shit, I, that's the closed chapter of my life. When you did take Xanax, what's the most you've taken during one trip? I never took more than two of them. I never just went crazy popping 10, four or five. I only took probably two, one and a half. Some people, um, I've heard when they take multiple, they'll put it in like a liquid, yeah, that shit terrible. I always hated but dislike people who did that shit. That's a uh, that's like people who can't afford a sibling. They put Xanax and lemonades and shit. That shit tastes terrible, dude. Now, have you known anyone to overdose off the Xanax? No, I don't know nobody personally has uh, overdosed off the Xanax. Mm. Now, um I guess somebody watching this, and uh, and when you took them, were you like heavy on them? Meaning like, were you taking this, even though you took to it the most on a trip, were you taking this occasionally? Were you taking this once in a while? Were you pretty frequent with it as a user? I had a summer where I did my Xanaxes then every other day. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, it was just one summer. One summer I had experienced it that, uh, I was going crazy with the Xanaxes, but uh, after that, it was over with. Before that, I never took them. And uh, just was one particular summer, I just had an experience with Xanaxes. That was the summer where the uh, auto had, accident yeah. happened? I had maybe like two or three accidents that year. Mm. You quit cold turkey? Yeah, cold turkey. Nobody tried to get you to quit or? No, because okay. I never was a, uh, it never was my thing, so it, it wasn't hard to quit at all. I just said, I don't want to take these widgets no more. I never took them again. Do you think this is something easy that people can get addicted to? Yeah, because it's cheap. You know what I'm saying? It's cheap. Shit cheap as shit, so you go spend your five, six dollars, get you a Xanax, you're going to get hired in it, spending sixty, seventy dollars on some syrup, so you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a cheap drug. Now, somebody watching this, let's say they're on Xanax. Mm -hmm. Any 
general advice to that person. And some people are actually prescribed Xanax. So this question is not for them. This is somebody that's using and abusing it. But somebody taking Xanax, do you have any general advice for that person? Um, to each his own, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't look down on nobody. I don't talk bad on people. But uh, I, I don't think it's cool. Uh, if you own Xanax, I, I hope you prescribe. I hope they prescribe to you. I hope you're not just taking them for recreation and use. And uh, be careful, man. Shit dangerous, dude. It ain't the same no more. You know what I'm saying? People dying off that shit, so be very careful taking them damn Xanax, bro.